Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Christy. If you're new here, uh, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on a thing. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about Rare Beauty, the two palettes that are brand new, super excited about, Magnetic Spirit and Confident Energy. So yeah, it's the first time I've ever even bought anything from Rare Beauty, uh, Selena Gomez's brand, So, which I'm more than happy to support. Oh wow, the packaging is adorable looks so cute like a little jewel or something see that very pretty and then i'll show you the inside if i can figure out how to open this thing oh okay oh that's cute it says you are rare on the inside i don't know if that will focus but and then these gorgeous like plummy pinkish colors very very pretty perfect for the fall so I see online, I think they're available in stores November 11th. So let's see how these work. And this is like a blue greenish palette. Let me get that focus there. Very pretty packaging. All right. Okay. So yeah. It's very like jewel toned colors. So you got your uh, your pinks and your purples in the Magnetic Spirit palette and your oranges and golds and blues in the Confident Energy palette. So perfect for fall. I mean, yes, we've seen a lot of these colors in palettes lately, but you know, it is fall time, so excuse my hair it's late at night <laughs> it's been a long day let's put it that way so anyhow yeah where's my bobby pin i'll clip my hair back and we'll get started i also am going to be reviewing the new um essence mosaic blushes that i picked up at ulta looks like this there you go um one is in all you need is pink how cute and the berry connection so one's more of like a corally color my favorites and then the other one's like a baby pink so yeah i've always heard good things about essence blushes so i'm gonna give them a try I'm gonna give them a whirl anyhow yeah where the heck did my bobby pin go i gotta get my hair in my face so we can try these shadows out oh cripes this is my life, people. This is my life. Oh, here it is. All right. Got the bobby pin. Let's clip this back here. Gets out of my way. All right. So, yeah, you like my background? It's kind of fallish. We're still playing around with it. I mean, when we did the FX um, tutorial, which you will see it's coming i promise we had technical difficulties my brother's an it god so he's actually going to try to get the footage um uncorrupted out of my computer for me um so i can lay it down into the editing and uh start getting that all put together but um if you follow me on instagram you'll see like a little clip duo from where we turned him into Beetlejuice. Um, you can follow me at lace.beauty on Instagram. And yeah, you'll see that. But yeah, that video is coming, I promise. Anyways, I'm going to lay down the P. Louise um, base. If you have not used this eye base, I would highly recommend it. I've actually it. been really, really liking this eye primer a lot. I do set it because it is super thick, but, um, you know, it works really good and it brings out the colors of the eyeshadows so much better. So anyway, yeah, I mean, normally I don't support, well, I shouldn't say support. That's the wrong word. I usually don't buy, um, products from celebrities 
celebrity brands, so to speak. But Selena Gomez, I have absolutely no problem trying her brand out and, uh, you know, supporting it. Just, uh, you know, it's kind of personal. It's close to home. I don't know if you know her story, but uh, it's actually a beautiful story with her and her best friend. She actually has lupus like I do. And um, I don't know if it's the same type. I think she has the um, kidney lupus. I have SLE lupus. It's an autoimmune disease. But anyways, her best friend ended up giving her a kidney to save her life. And it's a terrible disease. If anyone out there has the disease like I do and like she does and so many others do, then you completely understand. Yeah, I kind of feel like these are colors that you would obviously use with another palette unless you wanted to just do shimmer all over your lid. But uh, yeah, there's no mattes. It's like satins and, you know, uh, shimmer colors. But I mean, it's very beautiful even still and they are only they retail for $25 at Sephora that's where I purchased mine from so really not a bad price point at all yeah I'd say they work quite well I mean glide on nice and beautiful getting tight and right so anyways oh my goodness, um, I don't know how you guys are all feeling about the makeup and movie Mondays. I love the concept because, you know, I love movies so much um, that I kind of wanted to, you know, share my love for it as well as my passion for makeup. But if it's not something you guys are interested in, I totally understand. But uh, yeah, I mean, lately... You know I'm not a big Halloween um, horror movie flick person, but I do absolutely appreciate a good thriller or like a movie based off a true story like the one I spoke about on uh, Monday um, on my first episode, The Fire in the Sky. Yeah, even though that movie did give me nightmares, I am not going to lie because... Again, if you guys watch it, you will totally get what I'm saying. Wow, what that poor man had to go through. But anyhow, lately, been watching a bunch more, you know, thriller type of movies. And of course, our cult classics. You know, me and my husband always watch movies like Scream because I absolutely love Matthew Lillard. And if you don't know who he is, Look him up because he is the one-line comedy king. That's what I call him. He's like Stifler from American Pie. Like, he can say just one line and it's the way he says it. He has such perfect comedic timing that it just makes the movie. I mean, Scream should be in the comedy section, I swear, because... To me, I laugh more than I'm like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, it's not scary. I know the actual, what it's based off the true story of the Florida killer and everything. That's terrible. But, um, yeah, the story or the movie itself doesn't scare me, obviously. Um, but yeah, so he is just like the main reason I watch that movie. I absolutely love him. And another movie that he is wonderful, like amazingly brilliant. I'm going to try to use my fingers here since they're shimmery colors as well. Ooh, this blue is so pretty. So pretty. Um, anyway, is um, Summer Catch. It's a baseball movie. It's a comedy. Well, it's a romantic comedy with Freddie Prince Jr. He plays the main character. But again, Matthew Lillard steals the show. He is just so freaking hilarious. I love him. Um, 
but yeah in scream he takes the cake and then of course we watch um movies like halloween um because i love jamie lee curtis she kills it i don't watch all the halloween movies like the original obviously from what 1978 or something it's really good and um you know, the originals are always the best, let's be honest, okay? Sequels are like, eh. Although, I will say, what was it, last year's Halloween? And, ooh, the new one's coming out October 16th, 2021, next year, because it had to be pushed back, of course, like everything else. Sorry, sippy time. Uh. But, yeah, so, you know, that sucks, but... She, uh, Lori Strode, she's coming back, even though Jamie said she wasn't going to be doing a little bit of fallout, just a forewarning. Um, but you're gonna get that, like I've said before, with any type of like shimmer palettes or anything like that. So, not to worry, don't freak out. It's only makeup, it brushes right off. But, anyways, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. Um, <clears throat> she's going to reprise her role for supposedly the end of Halloween. It's called Halloween, Halloween Kills or Halloween Dies, something like that. Shoot, I'll have to put it in the description bar to let y'all know, but I'm sure you've heard of it. But, so yeah, I'm super excited about that. But anyway, as I was saying, the um, last Halloween movie that she um, reprised her role in, where, you know, it was last year it came out, I believe. She did an amazing job, I personally think. You know, she's just, I love badass women. I really do. I love kick-ass women that just really become like, a vigilante and you know take no mercy because they're just you know awesome awesome to watch so yeah we've been watching you know our cult classics like that you know and of course I will you know watch movies like Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town and things like that and uh, another one of my big faves is um, Final Destination. The first and the second one mainly. Those are really, really good. But um, yeah, I was actually watching the first Final Destination earlier today. And uh, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite movies for sure. Just because I love the concept itself is really neat and cool to me. I'm going to try some of this deep dark purple i should be pointing to the shadows duh see i'm getting it's too late at night this dark purple on the side here yeah kind of put on the edges here anyways and um yeah so the concept itself i mean like people don't realize well, I don't know if people even think about it. This stuff I think about all the time is like, you know, what can happen. And I believe a lot in fate, you know, that you just can't change fate. What is going to happen is going to happen. And that's just the way it is, you know. That's how I feel personally. But yeah, I mean... It's pretty neat to watch and to actually think. I love movies that make my mind bend. Like, even the movie that uh, I know I'm jumping all around, I'm telling you about 9 million movies to watch. But even the uh, movie I See You with Helen Hunt. What the hell? Oh my god. That movie was just nuts, dude. Nuts. I don't know. You'll have to look it up. And, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. But, damn. <laughs> like, people really, 
it's pretty sad when you don't even know your own husband. If you watch the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, but she plays a doctor and her husband's a cop and apparently there's this, uh, it starts off with she obviously cheated on him and so you think like, oh, she's the villain in the story. And I'm using both palettes. So I'm using this coppery color in the Confident Energy palette. It's called, what is it? Strong? No, that's the other one. Gutsy. Okay. So I'm using Gutsy and I'm using the blue color called Willpower. And I'm using Clarity and Grounded from the um, purple magnetic spirit palette and those are the colors that i'm using anyhow so she starts off at like the villain in the movie and uh then you find out that basically spoiler alert her husband is a freaking nutso okay but it takes you on all these twists and turns to like get to the actual probably like this video <laughs> confuse the crap out of you to where you're like you don't know which end is up or what the hell's going on basically and uh then finally it all comes together in the end well sort of i mean i will say again spoiler alert the ending of it kind of left you like what you ever have those like movie moments where you're like that's it that's that's how you're gonna end it why, why do directors do that just like i don't understand you ever have those moments like, oh gosh. So anyways, comment below if you are interested in the whole like movies and makeup thing because as you can tell, I can talk about movies and do my makeup at the same time. Like I absolutely love both. But um, yeah, as for the palettes, I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful colors. The only thing I will say is, yes, I do wish that there, there was, you know, maybe like a mat or two in each of the palettes just so you could just take the one with you and be on your merry way. You know, that would be nice. And yes, there is quite a bit of fallout. But again, like I said, that is pretty normal for, um you know, shimmer shades and things like that. So if you're really, really worried about it, I would use shadow shields because, or do your eyes first. I always do my makeup first. I never do my eyes first for some reason. I like my base all done before I go onto my eyes because, you know, sometimes I don't even know what I'm gonna do with my eyes until the very last minute. I'm one of those people that literally will change an outfit like three times before I leave the house. You know, I'm decisive in every other aspect of my life pretty much except for what I'm gonna wear or, okay, pretty much, yeah. What I'm gonna do with my hair, when I get to the nail salon, what color I want on my nails. Yeah, those time, types of uh, stupid things, decisions. The hard decisions I can make easily and quickly, but the big decisions or the small decisions, yeah, I waffle about. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely say I love, love this blue color. It is really beautiful. I mean, it's almost more of a summer color to me than a fall color, but hey, whatever, you know? Like I said, like I always say, there's no rules. No rules in makeup. If you like it and you want to wear it, wear this crap all over your lid. Looks like that lady that has a crazy blue eyeshadow all the way up to her eyebrows if it makes you happy. I forget her name. She's from some TV show or whatever. So yeah, I cannot believe Halloween is almost here. We're going to be doing an awesome giveaway on Friday, next Friday, the 23rd. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure, you know, 
you hit that notification bell because you are definitely going to want to enter this uh, giveaway. And please don't do it just for the giveaway. Because I see you, fucker. <laughs> I see you. Yeah. We want people to actually sub that want to be here and be involved and have fun with us. But yeah, I wanted to do a giveaway. I know it's early and it's not like I'm got a bunch of subs and all of that but you know I wanted to do it mainly to one help people out and two I figured it would be a nice thing to do for the holidays upcoming I was gonna wait later and everything like that but you know a lot of new palettes and a lot of new makeup and things just launched and came out and I got my hands on them and uh, maybe some other people weren't able to and I always feel bad about that. So, you know, just want to give back. I like giving. That's definitely one of my uh, good attributes. Sometimes bad because people take advantage of that fact. But, you know, that's me. That's how I've always been. I love it. Like, Christmas time is absolutely my favorite holiday, and I think it's mainly because of that reason. I just love, you know, making people happy, see people's faces light up, and all of that. So I'm grabbing that um, gold color from the Confident Energy palette um, called Alternate right here. This one. I'm just kind of putting it on the inner corner here. You know, when you have colors like this and palette, whoa, <laughs> even got blue all over my finger. Going a little crazy here, a little ham, that's all right. Um, but yeah, when you have colors that are this beautiful and jewel toned and everything, I get a little overzealous and want to use all the colors. Like, <laughs> gotta calm it down though. But it's a good way to test them too and see how well each, each shadow works in a sense. So you have six shades in each palette. And uh, again, like I said, the only downfall I would say is no mats. They are beautiful colors, I will say that much. And the packaging is just like out of control. It's beautiful. I feel like a peacock with these colors. <laughs> Hopefully you can see this. I'm sure you can see the blue from like a mile away. Kind of matches my shirt in a sense. Let me pull back. I don't know. My shirt's a little more uh, like green, like a dark green blue. Which they do have a color that would have matched that as well. Sort of. It's like a brownish green. It's called Abelais. Huh. Interesting name. But... Yeah, really pretty. Oh, so anyway, yeah, I was on that topic. I was talking about Final Destination, and I totally got sidetracked. Anyways, I think the reason I love the concept of that movie so much is because I personally feel like, um, you know, everybody has their own fate, and, you know, whatever happens will end up happening. You know, it's kind of out of your hands, out of your control. And, um... At least that's what I like to think that, you know, it's not, it's kind of predetermined. So basically, you know, you could go bungee jumping and, and you've seen it. I know you've seen it. Okay. Like people like the crocodile hunter. Think about how many times he, that man put his life in jeopardy playing around with them damn snakes, playing around with them damn crocodiles, like getting this close to like a killer snake tarantula crocodile whatever and then the poor man dies from getting stung by like a 
Not a stingray. Was it a stingray? I don't remember. But he gets stung, zapped by one of the water creatures. And, you know, nobody, nobody expected it. It was so unexpected and tragic. I mean, oh, his poor daughter and family, like, totally tragic. You know, it's just things like that that you know are kind of just predetermined. I don't know. But anyway, so things like in the movie... I'm not saying that, like, of course Hollywood ups it, you know, an amp, and they'll take it to a whole nother level. Um, I'm going to try out some of these blushes and put on this corally pink blush here. And uh, so Hollywood ups it up a level, and they'll like, oh, it's an evil spirit. It's like death coming to get everyone. You know, I don't believe in that, but, <clears throat> you know... Like when I'm on the highway or the throughway, whatever you want to call it, and I see those damn trucks with the freaking logs, you know, the wood logs carrying them. And, you know, I live in upstate New York where it's kind of country a little bit. So I believe me, we see those trucks like a lot. And I'm always like <laughs> turning into the other lane or screaming at my husband, get out of the lane, go in the other lane. I do not want to be driving right behind this guy, you know, because think about that. It really could happen. Like, I'm not being crazy, am I? You know, it really could happen to where the logs all of a sudden, you know, break off or whatever straps are holding them down break off. And next thing you know... They're just flying at you, you know, 65, 75 miles per hour and like decapitating your head. <laughs> I'm not trying to be gross, but you get what I mean? Like that stuff can really happen. It's like terrifying. So I don't know. Maybe I overthink things and analyze things way too much, but my brain is always on. There's never an off button. Anybody else have a problem with that? <laughs> Comment below. I'm probably going to be the only one. Nope, you're all alone. But, uh, yeah, so. Very pretty blushes. Very nice. Got a little bit of hint of shimmer to them. Nothing crazy. But, yeah. We'll see the lasting power. But, very pretty. And not bad. I think they were like $3. Can't beat that price. I'll tell you what. Anyways, oh, I forgot my highlighter. Oh, well, there's this really pretty shade actually in the palette that I'm going to use as a highlight. It is called Ignite. This shade right here. Very pretty. Oh, no, sorry. That one's Power. It's called Power. And yes, I do use eyeshadows as highlights all the time. Why not? They can be multi-purposeful. Okay, that's pretty. I don't know if you can totally see with the light and everything. I never know with the lighting. I'm still working that all out. So, hang in there with me, folks. Hang in there. <laughs> but, yeah, this is pretty. I love my champagne colors, that's for sure. It's hard to get a highlight on me. I'm so pale. Pretty much I need pure white to show up on me. I'm going to just take a flat definer brush. And I think I'm going to mix. I'm going to take this green and the blue and just kind of go underneath my eye. This always looks so sexy when I do this. Make these stupid faces. <laughs> yeah, this blue and uh, I would almost venture to say that the Confident Energy Palette is more for summertime and the Magnetic Spirit Palette, the purpley mauvey one, it's more for fall time, but again, you know me, wear what you want to wear, but 
it's almost like that's what they had in mind in a sense i don't know or i mean they do work well together too i mean i'm using them both right now so really doesn't matter but traditionally i would say the colors in uh the yellows and the blues are very bright they're more what you would see like for a summertime palette so that's interesting to me but yeah if you guys have never heard of selena gomez's story with um her lupus and her best friend giving her a kidney like there's a whole interview they didn't talk too much about it because at first they didn't even really want it to be well known but it is such an amazing sweet story i actually lost a dear friend right after i was diagnosed i lost one of my dear friends to the disease where her organs shut down and she passed away at a quite young age it's a terrible terrible disease that's why some days <laughs> You'll kind of notice that I'm like, oh, a little bit okay and chipper. And then there's other days that I'm kind of like me, you know, but that's why. But anyways, there's a, I want to say it's like an NBC special or maybe like with Diane Sawyer, Sawyer you know, that broad always does interviews with everybody she's always in everybody's business but she did the beautiful story i think it was her because they only did the one interview as far as i know her and her best friend where they told the story and they actually showed them two together in the hospital beds they went through the surgery together they recovered together afterwards in the hospital and then in like a hotel room you know that celebrities go to after you know, they, like, have cosmetic surgery and stuff, a special, like, hospital, hotel room type of thing. Um, but, yeah, to recover together. And, you know, it's just, like, the sweetest story because that's a lot to ask of somebody, you know, especially when it's not family. You know, usually that's something that your mom or dad will do for you. But, you know, if you don't have any matches and you have to go on a list, you know, it could take a long time. Yes, Selena was very, very lucky and uh, fortunate and she knows that for sure. So now she's living her life to the fullest and as far as I know, she's quite healthy now. So, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, you know, once you get that kidney transplant, you're pretty good. I don't know much about, um, it's like nephritis, lupus, or it starts with an N. Um, but there's different forms of it. The SLE, like I have, it actually attacks your entire body rather than just one specific part. There's a skin lupus, a kidney lupus, and then there's the SLE form, as far as I know. No, there might be one other one, but, um, yeah. So, yeah, she's healthy. She's doing well, as far as I know, obviously. She's got her own cosmetic brand now, so I was definitely happy to, you know, support her and her endeavors, you know? No, should we go for a bold lip? I don't know. This is a pretty color. Yes, I have no lips, so I do overdraw a little tiny bit. These are my upper lips. I don't know. Like, I'm definitely not opposed to, you know, lip filler and plastic surgery and, you know, things like that. You know, people do what they want to do. I don't care. I understand it because it's like, if it makes you happy, it makes you feel more confident. You know, you've heard me say it before. See, I'm trying to talk and do lip liner. No, no, no. Hold on a second. Alright, 
fill that in a little tiny bit. So I understand it because, you know, everybody's got insecurities. And now, Botox, lip filler, all that stuff, it's basically as common as getting your teeth cleaned. You know what I mean? Like, it's really no big thing. I think I'm going to use this NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream. Yeah, I really like these a lot. Christy, don't talk while you're doing your lips, you dummy. Okay, so I'm going to go put some lashes on and I will be right back. So anyways, this is the finished look that I came up with. Um, with the two palettes. The Confident Energy and Magnetic Spirit. Um, it's very pretty. I do like the palettes a lot. Um, again, my only downfall or complaint would be that there's no mattes. Um, but yeah, other than that, $25 a piece. Um, you know, beautiful colors, beautiful shadows, and good pigment. They uh, disperse the color evenly. They work great together. So, I mean, I would have to rate them a two thumbs up. I definitely like them a lot. So, you know, pick yourself up one or both of them. They're at Sephora right now online, or you can get them in stores um, on November 11th. And yeah, so this is the finished look. I pretty much tried to use colors from both of the palettes evenly as much as I could. <laughs> but um, yeah, and the blushes, um, great deal and I think they are very very pretty colors not sure about the sting the lasting power I'll have to let you guys know in the comments after I use them for a couple of days and see how I like them but um in the lip combo that I used uh I used the NYX soft matte uh lip cream um, cans and then I just put a little bit of the Stila Stay All Day in Carmelo on top and then of course added a little of the Fenty Beauty gloss in Diamond Milk so you know just to give myself a real neutral lip and you know if you liked with the palettes and how they performed I would definitely suggest picking them up I'm sure everybody has a matte shadow that they can use to go along with the palettes so, but the shimmers are beautiful, so, and great fall colors. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And again, that FX video will definitely be coming up soon. And please, again, let me know in the comments if you want me to continue with the Makeup and Movie Mondays. I really want to see what you guys like and what you don't like, and you know, give you the content that you're looking for. I upload every Mondays and Fridays, so look out for that and make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. And again, the giveaway will be October 23rd, next Friday, so make sure you're subscribed because otherwise you won't be able to enter. <laughs> Anyways, Stay safe, have a good day or night, whatever it is for you. For me, it's night. I'm ready for bed, obviously. I'm acting Looney Tunes. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good night. Bye.